Hi everyone, this is Gail Vihar from momandcamera.com and I'm here doing a video for pretty presets about how to use video in Lightroom. Um, we already had version one or part one of this so you can either watch part one in this post or you can go to um, the YouTube channel where this video is hosted and watch it there as well. Um, we talked about, we, we already covered some of the basics of video and now we're going to talk about developing video. Um, when we are developing video um, we aren't able to develop video in the develop module. If I click up here I'll get a little error that says video is not supported in the develop module. So we'd have to develop video over here in the quick develop panel and quick develop panel is a little bit like editing with a small handicap. <laughs> if you click on these arrows, the single arrows, you move to the positive or to the negative a third of a stop and the double arrows move you to the positive or negative a full stop, so in larger jumps. Um, you can also do that with your white balance here, temperature and tint, exposure, contrast, whites, blacks, and vibrance. If you play around these with these and you totally mess up, you can reset all, which is always a good thing if you are making mistakes. Um, you can also apply presets, which is really nice. You can apply a preset just directly here from the Quick Develop panel. And if you know exactly what preset looks good, this is a good time to do it. Um, if you don't, then I'm going to show you a little workaround where you can see previews of the presets. So I know here that, that my pretty preset, old fashioned, sorry, looks pretty good. So if I applied that, this little warning is going to come up and say that there are only certain settings that can be, be applied to video. And now as I scrub through my video, you'll see that everything in this video has this new preset applied. And if I don't like that preset, then I can just do Control Z and it will take me back to the color. Now the workaround for this is if I come down here to the rectangle tool and I click on capture frame, it's going to take a picture of what I have here, of the frame that's showing right now. And it's going to basically create a JPEG of that, that capture in time, that little capture. And now I can go over to the develop module and I can make any of the changes that I want. I can try to adjust my white balance here a little bit. Um, I don't know if that looks any better. This is just playing around right now, but um, I can try to adjust my white balance with the eyedropper tool, which is a little bit less handicapped to me. That's a little bit not quite as handicap-ish. I can, I can use the white dropper or the eyedropper and get a little bit better. I can make any adjustments that I want to here as well. I can also preview any of the presets that I want to apply. So if I scroll over and I think, okay, well, so sepia looks fantastic with this, then I can apply that. Now, if I create a preset of these settings, um, then I can apply that to my video. So I'm going to put, I'm going to title this video, sun coloring, because these are going to be pretty specific to a certain thing and I'm just going to click a create. Then as I hop back over to my video over in the library module, let's, um, I can go ahead and apply that preset that's in my workflow and that will allow me to color correct or add preview presets that I've previewed previously to a video that I created in, uh, or that's in Lightroom. So it's kind of a workaround way to edit in Lightroom 4 using the develop module. Um, it's a, a little bit clunky if I have to tell you the honest truth, but the fact that I couldn't edit video at all in Lightroom before, um, this is a huge improvement. So if you're looking to edit videos or just make quick corrections or changes to your videos, this is an awesome tool. Thanks for listening today and I hope this has been helpful to you. Um, see you later.